Okay, so today we're going to talk about opposites and absolute values. The opposite is when you take the opposite sign of something. So say you had positive 5, if you took the opposite of it, you would have negative 5. And when you take the absolute value, which is indicated by these bars right here, you take the positive value. So opposite is just the opposite value. Absolute means the positive value. So for this, we would take the opposite sign of 5c and 9d. So we get negative 5c minus 9d. And for our absolute value, we would do the subtraction inside the absolute value bars. So you'd get negative 2. And then these bars tell you to take the positive value. So the positive value of negative 2 is positive 2. Okay, so now we're going to do some examples. So I have negative 12, and I want the absolute value of negative 12. So that means that our answer is going to be 12. So I have the absolute value of negative 25, which is 25, minus the absolute value of 14 of negative 14, which is 14. And if I subtract those two, I'll get 11. Okay, so these, once again, are brackets. That means you do what's inside the brackets, and then you add. So I'm going to take negative 18 plus. I have negative 13. This minus outside tells me to take the opposite value. So these this becomes positive. So I have plus 13. So negative, negative 18 plus 13 gives me negative 5. Okay, so this negative out front tells me that I want the opposite value of each. So this is going to be positive, this is going to be positive. So then I'm going to get 2x plus 3y. Okay, now when I have this negative at front, it tells me to take the opposite. This 2 right here tells me to multiply each one of these terms by 2. And this, neg and this negative tells me to take the opposite sign. So I'm going to have, this is positive 3, so I'm going to take the opposite sign, which is negative, of 2 times 3, which is 6, and then this m squared stays the same. I have negative 2m, so I'm going to take the opposite, which is positive, of 2 times 2, which is 4m. And then this last one is negative 1. I'm going to take the opposite, of, which is positive, of 2 times 1, which is 2. And here I have opposite absolute value minus absolute value. So what I want you to realize is that this negative right here can be written as plus negative 9, absolute value of negative 9. So this lets me know that I'm going to take the opposite of the absolute value of negative 3 and the opposite of the absolute value of negative 9. So I have the opposite sign of negative absolute value of negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, but I have this opposite out front, plus the opposite of the absolute value of negative 9, which is 9. So I have negative 3 plus negative 9, which gives me negative 12. So that's all we're going to do with opposites and absolute values. Make sure you come back where we're going to talk about how to combine like terms of equations.